Today I'm working on a mixed media canvas. I saw these little paint chips that were house shaped and thought that they would be perfect to jelly print with. So I'm going to add several layers of paint. I'm also working on some brayer papers over here on the left. And along the way, I'm going to do some um, cleanup prints on some scratch copy paper and even a few cards here and there just to not lose any of this good stuff. So I decided on this darker purple that I put some white with a little bit of the blue-red PBO. And I'm just using a piece of uh, napkin that it was already had some paint on it to blot and just remove some of the excess paint. Most of these stencils are stencils that I've cut using uh, notebook dividers, the plastic ones, and on my silhouette. <clears throat> this is just a clean up print on a card. And I use these napkins when I collage. That once this ugly scrapbook paper is covered with paint, then I'm removing it and I'll use that for a future project. I'm just going back in and adding some additional layers.
and I'm just going to add a pop of black to some of them. But I'm not getting much paint dried too quickly, so I'm just going to pull a card. This one dried so quick, I didn't even get any paint on the card hardly, so I'll come back to that card again later. I really like the results with that white and green on top of that red with a little bit of copper. Hard to see, but I did get a little bit of a shadow of a black one on that one.
and then I decided just to stencil on top of some of them. All right, and that finished it up, so I'm going to put the jelly plate away and start building the houses. You can see how some of them are getting, going to be double stacked, so there'll be a two-story or three-story beach condos. And these are the cards that I ended up with. I'll do something with those later. And I ended up with some strips of ugly scrap paper, not so ugly anymore, and just some cleanup paper that I'll end up using. So this is a 12 by 24 canvas that I'm going to work on and I'm going to start by blocking in a sky and then I'm going to work in some clouds And in the beginning, I was real happy with the sky, and I went for a realistic look. And then you'll see I end up changing it when I, once I do the beach. This is just the base coat of the beach. And I'm just using some titanium, bleached titanium white with some... Uh, okra and other like a yellows and golds and then I decide that I'm going to go through the circles with um, deco arts metallic and I've got mink champagne and a kind of gold color so I'm just pouncing all three of them randomly through the circles and kind of getting a pebbled look which reminded me of quilt fabric and this changed my direction on the canvas I'm just working on the sides and I decided to go back with the dazzling metallics in two colors of turquoise across the sky with a different stencil and to me it look it's beginning to look like um, quilt fabric and then I'm going to come back in with some of the white and put my clouds back in and I'm just getting the sides on the edges and whitening up some of those areas with more white paint. Right, let that dry and you can see I've laid out my houses and I'm going to apply them with gel medium and here I didn't record but I cut windows and railings out of different scrapbook papers and leftovers. I've got some washi tape. So that's a day at the beach in Galveston. Thanks for watching.